Good morning. Welcome to 31 Days of Wisdom. We're reading through the book of Proverbs, one chapter a day. Good morning. Thanks for joining me. I'm so glad that you're reading through the book of Proverbs with me. I've been out walking and worshiping, just enjoying being with the Lord, and I'm so thrilled that you've decided to walk through the book of Proverbs with me. We're in Proverbs chapter 2 this morning. My child, listen to what I say and treasure my commands. Turn your ears to wisdom and concentrate on understanding. Cry out for insight and ask for understanding. Search for them as you would for silver. Seek them like hidden treasures. Then you will understand what it means to fear the Lord and you will gain knowledge of God. For the Lord grants wisdom. From his mouth comes knowledge and understanding. We are in Proverbs chapter 2. I'm reading from the New Living Translation. Our focus this morning in observation is verse number 6. For the Lord grants wisdom. In many translations it says, and God gives to us wisdom. Wisdom is a gift from God. We were studying in the book of James and it says, if you want wisdom, ask the Lord. Paul wrote in 1 Corinthians chapter 12 that wisdom is a spiritual gift from God. And now as we walk through the book of Proverbs, we discover in chapter 2 that indeed wisdom has always been a gift from God. We all make decisions each and every day. I recently read that it is believed by psychologists that the average person like you and I will make 30 5,000 decisions each and every day. That's amazing. It kind of overwhelms me just to think about my day. But the reality is you and I will make tens of thousands of decisions. Now we'll do it in three different ways. I have discovered in my own personal life that I make silly decisions and sometimes I make really stupid decisions, but I want to make wise decisions. What's the difference? Well, years ago, I was busy and behind schedule and I was typing out a report on my computer early in the morning and I grabbed myself a cup of coffee and I set it on my desk. I knew as soon as I did it, that I was behind, but it was a silly mistake. That's right. That silly decision cost me a brand new computer keyboard. I knocked the cup of coffee over my keyboard and it fried the keyboard. On another occasion, a few months later, I was behind in something else and I grabbed a cup of coffee and I knew better. I knew better than setting it on my desk, but I did it anyway. And what happened? I knocked over the cup of coffee and I lost my keyboard. The first time it was a silly mistake, 
The second time, it was a stupid mistake. The Bible is very kind to us in its translations. You see, in the Hebrew, the word foolish or fool in the book of Proverbs is actually translated in everyday Hebrew language as stupid. We can make a wise choice or we can make a stupid choice. The book of Proverbs is all about God's gift of wisdom so we avoid silly decisions, stupid decisions. I was talking to a young couple not long ago and they bought their very first home. It was an older home and they were thrilled to have it. They told me they got into an argument as they were buying the home, going through escrow. Somebody tried to sell them a home warranty. They fought really, really bad. It was the worst fight they had ever had. She prevailed and consequently they bought the home warranty. <laughs> You're right. It was one of those Sacramento Valley heat waves of 100 degrees that their HVAC completely fried. They had to replace their entire air conditioning system. It was 10 to $15,000. He was telling the story to me, laughing, and he was filled with joy because they made the wise decision to buy that home warranty. Today, as we look through the book of Proverbs and you read it carefully, reflect and meditate and pray upon it, I want you to notice that wisdom is God's gift to you and I. I want you to see the significance that we must receive God's gift. And the Bible tells us in Proverbs chapter two, that we must listen to God's wisdom. We must cherish it and seek it. And when we do, wisdom has many, many rewards and benefits, which include wisdom will guide us in every decision we make. All 35,000 decisions you make today can be guided by God's wisdom. Number two, it says in Proverbs that wisdom will fill your heart with joy. Just like the young couple that had the wisdom to buy that warranty, they were filled with joy. It also says that wisdom will keep us safe. It will protect us from evil, twisted people. It will protect us from immoral people. The Bible says the bottom line in Proverbs chapter two, that when we follow the Lord's wisdom, it will lead to great reward and blessing. But at the end of Proverbs chapter two, it says to the foolish that will not follow wisdom from God, their path will be a path of great struggle and deep, deep sorrow. Here's the bottom line. Jesus said, the wise man will build his house on solid rock. Oh, I'm so grateful that you are joining me for my morning walk through God's word. We are going chapter by chapter through the book of Proverbs. 31 days of wisdom. Father, I pray your blessing upon each and every one today. God, that your grace will go before them, that your peace will be within them, that you will guide them and bless them with wisdom from on high. Oh, what an hour we live in. We need God's wisdom. Bless, I pray in Jesus' name. God loves you, and so do I. You be blessed today.